Next up, we have Carsten Needle 3, made by 4D9R. Uh, since you enjoyed Carsten Needle 2, I hope you like this one just as much. Beat the record for a cookie? Nani? Well, you got you got yourself a deal, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see how tight it is, right? 17 seconds. Um, all right, let's check out the level first. Okay, we have a small kit with a single jump star. So our options are limited. And we have a parachute. All right. So we can actually we can actually do, do, do stuff with this. I, I do think I remember the Cast Needle 2 level, just like from this style. It was also like one one room with like a bunch of uh, a bunch of gimmicks like this. Um, I like what you did with the with the floor there. These are all spikes, right? Yeah. Man. Uh, yeah, I, I really admire it when people put like a lot of effort designing or like putting in visuals in their stage. It, it's obviously um, some even do that while having like a six room long level, right? And every room is like decorated with with everything they could think of. Uh, okay, so one time these platforms, you got a trigger here. Yeah, but I, I don't want to say it's 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 not that much effort just because this is like one map, right? It's still like I, most of the time. I mean, the way to go is usually just like including background tiles, right? That like already makes your level look better. But like in, in my cases, I, I never find them fitting. I don't know why. I just like try them out and I feel like they just like I, I'd rather have the background show. I, uh, I don't know. It never seems to fit in my guess. Okay, there's a small spike there. All right, cool. So that was the level. Nothing, nothing too complicated about it. But um, yeah, actually, actually getting the record might be uh, more troublesome than I. But let, let's let's see how uh, how optimized this one is. Oh wow. Okay, they already like are nailing all the turnarounds here. They are wow. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> mm -hmm. you don't say. Really? Wow. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't know about that cookie anymore. Man. I don't know. I'll try, but I can't. I can't promise you I'll get it. Bruh, N not even close, man. I I've been trying to get this for like 10 straight minutes. No shot. I mean, we got close, not even second place. I I give up, I simply give up. This is like highly impressive that so many people were able to get such a good time on this. But yeah, I, I like, I, I cannot even get close to the, to the record. Like the amount of optimizations with like the, the turnarounds and like you having to like bounce on this cannonball uh, at, at like the right height and like just optimizing vine jumps in general is really difficult. So um, yeah, man, sad. No cookie for me sadly, but uh, we made it onto the leaderboard and uh, I mean, that, that's all right for now. All right, the next one was given me with a description. I heard you like mini kid needle. <laughs> this one's called Eternal Careless Desire. Um, yeah, the joke is that I don't, <laughs> but all right. This took uh, 434 attempts and nearly an hour to verify. Wow. Wow. <sighs> what do you mean? What, what do you mean? What? Okay, we have a parachute. Why do you make me grind mini kid needle? Like the, the... Oh, man. All right, well, this... This will take a while. <laughs> There's no save whatsoever here. Yeah. But there is a couch clear that I'm not gonna go for because I mean like I could. It doesn't it, it seems like you could like make it back easily. I I'm torn. I d I don't know. I, I gotta figure out how hard it is to well, reach that point first. Ah, okay, we gotta Really? All the way to the vine? Okay. Is that 
Oh yeah, with, with the parachute, I guess that's not too bad. Okay. Now, uh, just full jump over there, I assume. Yeah. Okay, I guess I just didn't jump far enough, that, but that, that should be the way to go. Um, that's that's really tight. <laughs> Why not? Um, yeah, I, that that fit up there with the with the nah nah. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore the couch for now. Okay, we made it here. Whew, that's tough. You gotta jump back out and then back to the left, and then it's not over. Well, it's nearly over, but. Yeah, wow. Wait, why is the warp deactivated? Wait. Wait, the warp- what? what? Are you telling me the couch clear is required? I was- I was gonna say that I, like... I wouldn't prioritize the couch clear right now, mainly because... Like, some creators, you know how they put, um a warp next to the couch, so like we've seen in Regrets level recently, uh, that was like a nice spin on it. Um, but yeah, I was like, okay, th there's no point in going to this couch since it just seems like it'll take a while to pull up these jumps, uh, but well, we won't even know. Yeah, the warp is deactivated, so maybe that is where I have to go. Like, I feel like the couch serves as a trigger here and is actually mandatory. <laughs> Oh, no. <laughs> okay, we did it. <laughs> the warp didn't activate, so I guess I was mistaken about this. But either way, we got the fucking couch clear, so I mean... It was worth it in the end, right? Now, with Minikit... I, no, I don't think you can just like full jump through a gate, right? And just like skip everything else. I think we actually have to just like carefully go. All right, well, <laughs> at least now we know that we don't have to go that way. I was just very uncertain because of the uh, the, the warp just like not existing for some reason. Okay, so we got man. I can I, I guess I just need to jump from even lower on the vine. I can't see any other way to do it. There we go. Okay, that jump wasn't too bad. Uh, now, well, we gotta get into the water. For sure. Now, what, right? Is there like an invisible trigger somewhere? Or do we just like need to get to the warp and things will happen? Um... I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm really not sure. Can we even make it to the warp? Like, it doesn't even look doable. I don't think we can from this position. Do I have to go here? Do I have to, like, go in there? I Maybe I should have tried the jump to the warp, but that doesn't look doable from, like, what, what like the down spike is positioned, and I just don't think I'd make it. I guess, I guess I'll, I'll give it a try next time. That is, okay, it is actually doable. But now we're here, right? <laughs> what do you, what do you mean? I beat your level, bro. <laughs> give, me, give me the warp. What, what have I, what have I not done that is required? I went to the couch and the warp didn't activate, so that, that can't be it. So is it, is it what I thought? I just have to like go down here. That seems so difficult to do, though. I mean, either way, if there is a trigger, it should be visible. Why, why would it be invisible? Okay. Well, doesn't appear to be anything down here. Um, yeah, this is this is quite bad. I I don't know where to go. What? Wait, wait, wait! What? 
Why did the warp activate there? Wait. I did that jump before and nothing... You have to go to all of these places. Yeah, this... Wait. Yeah. No. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, this this trigger is toggled off. And it activates when it's hit by trigger 3, which is this one. So you had to come down here, hit this invisible trigger, go back up. That is just... That is just... Bad? No. Don't. And why? Why are these here? Follow. Well, because like from from this ice vine, you can't even. I'm pretty sure you can't even make it, right? Even if you jump off the very top of it. Yeah, I don't think you can make that. So why have these triggers here? Why have any of these here? I guess just to make sure that the intended path is required, and like if there's like any skip that. It, even so, if there's a skip, there's a skip, right? But you shouldn't have like invisible triggers to have, have the intended path be required. Plus, having an intended path being you have to go down here. Like, just look at this. There's, there's no indicator how to like unlock the warp. The only thing you can see is the couch, so you'll go there for no reason because there's no trigger there. You just make this visible, right? I don't... Yeah, I, that, man, that is really upsetting, actually. That is quite upsetting. I mean, it's an all right level, but like, you just you just didn't make it clear on where to go at all. And like, it's, it's not that it's super obvious that you have to go into like this hole right here. I mean, it, it, I, I did think of going there because like it looked doable. But you could get the same idea about like the, the couch, right? Maybe I have to go there and something will happen. That wasn't the case. Dude, imagine if I went down here, accidentally, hit the, because you also have to like go out of your way to go right and hit the invisible trigger. And I, I, I went back up on my first attempt. If that didn't happen, if I died to this jump, I never would have figured out that the portal activates. So I just would have been like, okay, I went down there, nothing happened. And I would have probably given up on, on trying to beat this level. <sighs> if you went down here, landed here, and the warp activated, okay. Okay. Like, you see the warp is deactivated, you probably want to, like, find a spot, and this is, like, the one out of two spots that makes sense to go. And you'd go there and you'd see, okay, something happened, fine. But nothing, nothing that we could see did happen, right? This trigger activated that is still invisible. I'm sorry, this is, that's trash. No, that's actually really bad. Holy fuck, the, the, the more I thought about it, the, the worse it got. <laughs> Holy fuck. Police make, tri like, make required triggers visible, especially if it's like a difficult level. That, that is just, that is quite unforgivable. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, let's move on. Enough, enough about the ranting. All right, <laughs> Echo will never beat this. I'm worried. Uh, some backstory behind this level. A while ago you played my level, I wanted to touch grass, and there was a jump you spent 13 minutes on. That's all I'll say, really. A jump I spent 13 minutes on. Oh, and this is the one. Oh, okay. <laughs> They didn't even make it like a consistency test because you get a save after each one. But why? The fact that you give me a save after each one makes me believe that this is a difficult jump, is it not? Wait. What the fuck is this jump even? Oh, do you have to like... Oh no. Oh, do you have to like... What? What is this? <laughs> God, I, I like vaguely remember a jump like this. This is. Why does this exist? <laughs> what? 
why did you... I mean, clearly you, you knew this was a bad idea, but you still made it. Bruh. How do I even get this slow? Like that, and then... I, that still didn't make it, though! Or am I am I doing it wrong? Can I just no? I don't. Bro, what the fuck is this jump, man? All right. If this doesn't make it, then I I don't know. It ah oh, well it did, but I was supposed to go left as well, and now I'm not dead. Man, this is I I cannot believe. This is. Such a disgusting jump. Why? <gasps> yes! Holy fuck, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Alright. Just two more times. Man, not even the double jump is easy. That's the thing. Not even the freaking double jump is like the easy part. And there's nothing about this jump is easy. But the hardest is definitely to like catch this vine at like the last possible frame, which is just no. <laughs> okay, that is more. Oh my god, I almost did two, two in a row. That would have been legendary, dude. Okay, that actually didn't take too long. Uh, two in a row, get fu- what? <laughs> you made it worse. Actually... Oh, maybe, maybe this isn't worse. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this is- Now you just have to time it. Like, getting on the sticky vine is like, you have to reset when you don't get it. Or like, reposition yourself here, you just have to like, press left at the... Well, isn't this like, frame perfect then? Like, yeah. Press left at the correct frame, or like... You either fall off, or you just like, bonk. So, I, I guess it is worse. <laughs> I guess it is worse. Fucking ice! <laughs> oh my fucking god. Oh! No! Okay. Okay. 13 minutes for one jump, and then you have to do it like a couple of times, and only took two minutes. I'll take that. I mean, I think this didn't count the time I spent trying to get the first jump, so this is more like five minutes probably, but still. Oh! Well, I, I liked it instinctively, so keep it, but I was I was gonna leave it neutral because that jump is kind of yikes, dude, but I, I like the, the fucking the plot twist at the end where you like buffed it with different types of vines. That was actually, that was quite funny, so yeah. Keep the like. <laughs> Damn. What a level. Hey, we made it onto the leaderboard as well. Why not? <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm a little worried about the next set of levels. Not because I'm worried about like the quality, but I just don't know how long these will take to beat. Uh, description says, puzzle with crushers and they found a skip in screen number 8. That already... <laughs> you know, you can... You can technically only have like six well not technically but layout wise you can only have six rooms in maker so them talking about screen number eight and this being a puzzle level really fucking worries me oh my god i yeah okay it seems like the rooms are short all right, so it's not, it's not like full length puzzle levels, it's nothing like that. So do we have to do, oh cool. All right, so we just have to, 
Hey, that's a nice transition. Oh wait. Okay, I need to I need to shoot. And it like I guess it automatically saves. Ooh, okay, that's that's actually <laughs> Alright. I I had something else in mind when they mentioned like eight eight rooms. Like some some way bigger layouts and whatnot, but okay. Wait, wait, wait. What is the goal? Oh, do we have to get the crusher into here? Into where we start? Is that, is that the goal? Let's see. It can only go left from here. Um, actually, no. If I lure it up or down, it'll just like disappear. Is it like automatically game over when that happens? Oh, okay. So I misunderstood the tutorial. It just meant I have to lure it off screen. And depending how it leaves, vertically or horizontally, it'll create like platforms for me to stand on. Okay. Well, good thing I tried that because I, if I didn't, I would not have uh, understood the mechanic at all. Okay, that that is that is good to know. So can we uh, run past this crusher? I think we can. Get and lure it there. Okay, now it's chilling here, which is. Okay, there are two now. And. Okay, I just need to know what happens if they touch a killer block. Nothing really. Okay, so they can go through that, but I cannot. Which, yeah, which is why. But that still might have been correct, you know. I, I could now try to... Uh... Yeah, yeah, I think I see it already. I just want to make sure I uh, approach this correctly. Okay, I can just lower this up and then to the left, right? Bam. And now we can stand on this and then climb this. Okay. Yeah, I think I did this correctly, in the, coincidentally. That's that's cool. Okay. This one comes down right away. I guess we can lure it here and then... Oh, there's a custom death animation as well. Everything turns grey when you die. That's cute. Okay, lure it right. Then I think we can make this jump, but not hit. Uh, four... Coins? What does that mean? I don't... Were there coins in this level that I missed? Hmm. Oh. Gone. Well, that was incorrect, I'm pretty sure, but... Yeah, nothing we can do here. Okay, I, didn't, I didn't even mean to trigger him there. Let's try that again. I think... Just like based on the layout, I think it wants me to do something like this, like lure here, and then um, bam, bam, and now we get a, like platform jump across the entire thing, right? This is really cool. They even like designed like some platforming segments into their uh, puzzle levels. Okay, so the oh, never mind. <laughs> Fucking, I keep getting confused by just like elements in the level. No, the the four coins just meant that was level number four, and this is level number five. Okay. Awesome. Uh, we need to... Ooh, we need to... What? Survive this somehow? How would we do that? Or do I just... Oh! Oh, what? The Crusher collects a triple jump, but I get it? That is quite interesting. I still don't see how to survive. Oh wait, no, I do, I do, I do. I can just, oh my God, that's so smart. Okay, so th the crusher can collect stuff for us. What the hell? That's incredible. Okay, we gotta get down here. Are we gonna, okay, we're gonna collect a single jump star. Uh, I didn't really see, was there a way for me to get up there in time? Maybe that is not what I was supposed to do. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna collect this no matter what, right? No matter what. So do, do you just have to like lure it up? But like, how do I... Well... This is how I could leave. Oh, well not even that. Not even that is possible, but... Yeah, I still need to... I, I need to make him leave in the top right. I currently don't see how that is through the wall. Oh, I'm... Yeah, because I went down the wrong... Okay, I can I can do this. And now the single jump start doesn't matter. Oh my god. I didn't even consider the structure as something that I could, like, use. 
but uh, okay. So okay, well this should work either way. We can lure him here. It doesn't matter if he goes left because we just need him to leave on, on the right side. There we go, and that solves it. That is really fucking awesome, <laughs> man. Okay, now it's getting more complicated. <laughs> or well, we still only have one crusher to deal with, but they have a lot, a lot more to collect now. So right here, I could get like a temporary triple jump, which is that what I want? I don't, I don't think I can make it anywhere else in time. What is? Yeah, like I, I, I can't like use it over here, for example, like to get up there. Uh, so I'm failing to understand how to. I don't. I get okay. Holy shit! So this is what's correct. I use my triple jump, and because the crusher collects a. Uh, well, single jump star and then a double jump star means I can use my jump another time in mid-air. Like that. Holy shit. Which gives us like four jumps, technically. And now we still have a double jump. Man. This... This is excellently designed so far. Okay, I don't want to screw this up, but I think this should be fine. And then... Oh! <laughs> right, yeah, th that would happen. <laughs> My bad. That's a little convoluted, but... Okay, and now we get a single jump. Uh, that we can turn into a double jump right away. Mm, we lure him down. Actually, oh, I want him to get the the triple jump. I think it's my plan. Okay. So like this. I will have a triple jump, and I'll. Yeah, yeah, because okay, it it doesn't seem like we need to triple jump right now. That is because like you can get through this normally, even like with a single jump. But, how would you reach the warp, right? You need to triple jump for the warp to reach it. <laughs> Even, it, why? It keeps expanding the mechanics. Okay, so what, what is this? Breakable or one-time use blocks for the crusher to rest on. What? Okay. Oh, that broke it. Wait, why did that break it? Was that supposed to happen? it was because yeah I could do this and this bam 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 but yeah it doesn't really help too much does it uh, okay so I guess maybe luring it to the left is wrong let's try the right side ah yeah now we can stay here okay, what is my end goal I think it's to get it stop there yeah I wanted to stop there. So I need him to get like... Bam, 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 bam. Ba okay, I see it, I see it. Yeah, okay, stop here. And like this, every element of the level was used. And please go through. Okay, thank God. Now we can just like chill here. Make him go up or down. It doesn't really matter, but... Bam. And now don't mess up the jump, obviously. And we're, we're good to go. Man, I simply love, like, puzzles like these are like, and I know I keep saying I'm not a big fan of puzzles, mainly because uh, lots of puzzles I see made in this game get like way too complicated for me to like even understand what's going on. But like, here it's, it introduces the mechanic well. It makes you understand how it works. It starts off with like simple, rooms and then it keeps adding elements that's how you design puzzle levels just like in the best way possible because yeah you would like let let's say the level the level started like this with room eight you you'd probably have like well you could still like figure out what's going on and stuff but right you need to know the basics you need to know that when the crusher leaves the room 
you get like platforms depending on what happened like how how the how the crusher leaves the room is of relevance to like what types of platforms you get right that is that in itself is so genius already but like it combining all these elements is just straight up fucking fascinating to me oops I don't know why I'm doing this, but like, um, yeah, I don't think any of that was correct. Well, uh, I need, what do I need to do? I feel like this was a pretty good thing that happened because like he's already all the way over here. Okay. Uh, can go down one more time. Okay, I think I see what I need to do, but I don't understand what, like, all the uh, elements in the beginning of the level even meant. Oops, that's, that is not what I meant to do, believe it or not. Because, yeah, we can just, like, go up here and just, like, ignore everything that's at the start there. So I do get the feeling I'm doing this wrong. But at the same time, this should work. Yeah. Okay, I feel like I did skip something, huh? Or like didn't do something correctly, but it ended up working out. Okay, now we have a killer crusher. Um, which we can lead up and then left. Okay, th this one seems straightforward. Just like follow breakable blocks path, I assume. Because we can do this, then that. Okay, now we, now we need to decide whether to learn to the right or left. What would be wiser? What even is the end goal? I need to... Oh! Oops. <laughs> and I keep forgetting that they can see in like, any direction. Um, problem. <laughs> this is a problem. Now we can we can we can still win, Ren. Oh, interesting. I wonder. No, I don't think you can reach those. Yeah. Okay. I I assume. Like, I need to do this, then this, and then win, I think. This should be enough to win. Yeah. Alright, next level. Cool. Um. Oh, wow. Level 10. Uh, we have three boys. Oh, we need to... I assume use all three. Is it like three mini puzzles? Like this... It, it seems like each of these layouts is like a bit separated, so maybe it is that. Just gotta make him like leap, right? Oh, well, pr <laughs> maybe not there. <laughs> maybe not there. But uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> but wait, wouldn't this be too simple? Oh wait, I can't I can't go down. Wait. It it can't be something like do I have to like follow it down? Wait, is, no way this is intended. Can can I even do that? Will the timing work out? Oh my god. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> that is incredible. I have no clue if that's intended. That seems a little not intended. <laughs> but yo, we got it. That that is that is wild if that is the way to do it. That is just absolutely wild. Well now we have uh okay, we need to lure these guys. Okay, one needs to leave here, clearly. Oh, I see. 
this crusher on the right, I think, is supposed to like go all the way down and give me the, the, the triple jump star. Okay, I see the path. Now I just need to do it. Alright, good shit. Now... Oh, actually... Oh, that's so funny. Oh, that's so funny. Because I... Like, because I cheesed the triple jump star, I cannot beat the level now. Because I needed that crusher to go up. What I did first, and I thought it was like a mistake, was actually the way to go here. Mm. So yeah. <laughs> Even if I solve all the rest now, this won't help me. So this was actually, this was actually correct, wow. Okay, and now we do this again, which wasn't too bad at all. And now we have everything set up, and now we can get the triple jump star. Like so. Perfect. Yeah, and, and now like the layout and all the platforms make like actual sense. God, this was such a cool puzzle as well. And it was like, yeah, it was like two or like three separate little puzzle segments combined into one. Crazy. Like, I, it, every time someone makes me play or like makes a puzzle level that I absolutely love like this one, that that is... That is just beyond making a good level. Like, making me fall in love with a puzzle level is a fucking incredible achievement. <laughs> this was phenomenal and, like, worth every single minute I put into it. 20 minutes to clear or, like, solve the whole thing. That's not even too bad. I mean, it was, like, 10, 10 maps, right? And, um, yeah, to, like, get used to the mechanic first. And, I mean, it, it wasn't that complicated, right? I feel like it would have been harder if there was, like... I don't want to say custom... We, we did have a custom mechanic. I don't get me wrong, we did have that, but it was easy to understand, right? If a crusher leaves to the right side, it creates like a horizontal platform where it left, or like when it leaves on the bottom. It was, yeah, pretty easy to get a hang of, and which is, which made this like so much more fun to uh, solve and figure out. And like, yeah, each room was really well designed. Although do let me know if I found like somewhat of a skip on screen aid, because yeah, I, I didn't, use most of the breakable blocks there so i feel like there was maybe still an oversight which isn't well it's fine all right still an amazing level now let's do one more uh, this one's called quark last level not want to make him no okay <laughs> okay <laughs> it wasn't their last level thank god oh man please Ne never make that joke again. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think this one just said... A gimmick journey. Okay. So just... Platforming with gimmicks. Nice. Ooh. Lag. Love it, love it. Alright, nice. Okay, bubble. So just like a collection of like ideas, I guess. Oh wait, what does this what does this mean? <laughs> huh? Ha! Huh! Wait, shooting kills me. Oh wait, is it some sort of teleporter? Why well, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> okay, well, let's just go down. I think I'm supposed to use it later either way. And now I'm supposed to like... Yeah, okay, it is a teleporter. What the hell? <laughs> That's really cool. So here we could like... Wow, wait. Okay, I'm not too sure about that one. You just go down and use it on the right side. How could I use it here? Oh, oh, I can probably full <gasps> Yo, I forgot that momentum carries over, of course. Nice. Now I can go up, I assume. Oh, can we? 
Can we though? We can. And then make use of this teleport to get the coin and go up and save it. Okay. Don't need to use it here yet. Uh, and here we use it to go up, we get a triple jump. Can I even teleport through like one block? I don't think it would let me. Oh, actually, yeah, no, okay, <laughs> there's no way, I, I thought I can go to the right here. Never mind, okay, so I, I have to use the teleporter sooner. Like that, something like that. Yeah, okay. Let's use it a little, uh, little later. Now I assume go through the left. Can we reach that? Yeah, we sure can, okay. Then go back, time it when the teleport is on the right. And then use it one final time. Here, I assume. Whew, okay, that wasn't too tight. <laughs> Uh, okay, springs. Ooh. Oops. Okay, it just wants you to go back. And then use my teleport here. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oops. Wait! Oh my god. <laughs> Whoop. <laughs> That's a really cool way to dodge it. Um, over. And then wait for it to be on the left side. Nice. And then use the crusher here. Nice. Final, final avoidance. Oh, can he do it? Can he do it? Crazy. Um, okay, now we unlocked that power up. <laughs> Sorry, I I have no understanding of how I just lived there. I thought the crusher, you know, pushed me into the spikes or whatever, but apparently that didn't happen, and now I'm confused. <laughs> whatever. We live, that's all that matters. Bam, nice. And then use it just like that. What final time, nice. Glad I got that. Oh, we can, <gasps> do we need to use the teleporter to get, <laughs> to obtain that coin? That's so cool. C can you just like, no, even, even if you jump, you cannot quite reach it. Okay, that's a really cool use of the gun. Oh, okay. I, I wasn't I wasn't ready for that. Right. What am I doing? <laughs> I cannot teleport for like one one tile walls. So just do it like that. Okay. Yeah, there was a reason for there being like two cannonballs to jump on. Do I just have to wait? Oh, what the hell? I'm not even going to pretend to understand what's what's happening in the section, but... Okay, I'm, I made it. I don't know what happened. <laughs> that seemed really hard. I, I assume I, I just didn't have the right strat for it. Okay, we can chill here. Oh, I like this section. I can just like take your time with it. That was really pleasant. <laughs> nice. Okay. Oh, birds. Hello. <laughs> didn't, even, didn't even see them. Well, I didn't get the coins, so... Cope, I guess. Let's see if this is even right. Hmm. I wonder if I can make that.
Yeah. Okay, we kept... I think this is what I was meant to do. Yeah, we need to keep a teleporter. To even... Ooh, make this jump. Alright. Uh, moving on. Oh wait, I have two teleporters now. What is that gonna do? <laughs> Alright. I I guess I'm not I'm not meant to do that. <laughs> Whatever I just did. Alright. Um It's gonna be on the right, there we go. Impeccable timing. Okay, saber moment. Teleport through the left. Very nice. Yeah, the, the timing aspect of this gimmick is really, really interesting. Like, you can't... Yeah, well, based on when you teleport, it depends where you teleport to, right? So, gotta be wary of that. Cool. Ooh. Final screen. Okay, we need the coin first. I could just make this. Get this teleporter. Um, clearly, we do the gate. <laughs> Wait, what do we do? Can I just make it back? Uh, what? Wait, th w that was different? What did that do? Just a completely different mechanic all of a sudden. I was gonna say these teleporters look a bit bigger, but I I didn't think they'd be like <laughs> do something crazy like that. Okay. Well how do we make use of that to survive? Yeah, what if I have to do something like that where I like use all my three jumps and then teleport all the way up, right? That did work! That was really hard, but I needed like a visual cue for that now. Alright. Okay. How's this it then? Oh, the Man, I pulled back because I didn't think I, I caught the uh, parachute. Yep, this should be it. Ah, <sighs> nice. Another lengthy level, but it didn't take as long as the puzzle one. Only 13 minutes this time. <laughs> and just below 100 devs. Why not? Um, fantastic. Uh, very unexpected that it, like the gimmick... Or like the gimmick conceptually changed in the final room. But it did make things a lot more interesting. Like it's... Again, like this creator just is brimming with fucking ideas. Like... They can make like one level with like 20 maps in them, and like every every room has like some some different concept or idea going on. It, it's it's mind blowing that this creator can just like keep coming up with levels like this. It's just like um, similar to like G's bucket levels, right? This is like another creator you should like have your eyes on. They make fucking masterpieces <laughs> left and right. It, it, it's it's straight up incredible all right but yeah i think that's gonna be enough for this video mainly because fx levels are lengthier right so they're gonna t uh, end up taking up more uh, video time which is totally fine i just want to still keep them rather short so i don't know <laughs> it's it's uh not not a chore to watch i don't know <laughs> but um yeah that's gonna be enough for now so thank you all so much for watching this part of Let's Play I Wanna Make Khan. I'll catch you in the next one. But until then, take care, everyone. That's it, the end of the video. Nothing more to see. I wanna make her is over. That's it. 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 End of the video. That's it. That's it.
That's it. That's it. Nothing more to see. That's the one that maker is over.